Thank you, thank you. That round of applause certainly is not for me. I'm here by the grace of God and your hard work. So thank you, Lord, and thank you, everyone out there, for coming out on August 7th and moving this thing forward. Also, thank you to my friend Tom Barrett for that uh, tremendous introduction. And uh, again, thank you, fellow Republicans. I'm John James, and I'm so honored to be the Republican nominee for U.S. Senate. For 24 years, 24 years since Republicans have won a U.S. Senate race, but today I'm proud to tell you that Debbie Stabenow is in for the political fight of her life. For 43 years, Debbie Stabenow has been a career politician who has not delivered for Michigan, and it's time that we hold her accountable. Stabenow has been paid nearly $4 million in our taxpayer money over her career. Now she is so attached to Washington, D.C. that she owns a nearly million-dollar home there. She votes like Washington. She lives like Washington. She votes with Chuck Schumer 95% of the time and Hillary Clinton 93% of the time. You tell me how that represents Michigan. That's a solid A as a New York senator. Senator Stabenow represents New York and the worst of Washington. She represents the worst of the swamp, and we have the opportunity to have someone who will fight for Michigan and fight for the American dream for our children's futures from now until forever. So as I've been traveling around the state, well, one of the questions I get is, um, what's Debbie done? And I, I haven't found an answer for that, but I did a little bit of research. And a little bit of research. And uh, one of the biggest things I could find is that she has passed, helped pass five pieces of legislation. After the $4 million in taxpayer money, five pieces of legislation into law in 18 years. That's not good enough for Michigan. Earlier this month, she admitted after 20 years in Washington, she hasn't focused on our veterans. But it's worse. Senator Stabenow has voted time and time again to block pay raises for our military. She voted against legislation that would have provided two and a half billion dollars to help disabled veterans. She even voted against emergency funding to help our troops in Iraq. You wanna know how I know that? Because I was there. Because I was there at the tip of the spear fighting for freedom and she couldn't have my six. Well, I'll tell you what, when I get to Washington Veterans Service members, I will have your six. I'm running for U.S. Senate because I have a passion for service. It's driven deep down into my heart. I understand that we have an obligation, not an option to serve. I'm running for U.S. Senate because I have lived the American dream, and I want to protect that dream for our future generations. I have the experience from the battlefield to the boardroom, real life experience, that Senator Stabenow in her 43 years as a career politician and 20 years in Washington has not the, developed the occasion she hasn't had the skill set to lead effectively, to have the experience. I graduated from West Point. I became a... Yeah, you wouldn't be clapping if you knew how terrible it was to run in February in the wintertime at West Point. It is a cold, dark, gray place. It's a great place to be from. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, but actually having the opportunity to lead with and to serve the best and brightest this nation has to offer was a tremendous privilege and tremendous honor, and I'm looking forward to continuing my service. After flying Apache helicopters in Iraq, becoming a Ranger-qualified aviator, these real-life experiences in the real world, tackling the toughest situations, making life-and-death decisions in a split second, that's the skill set that we need on the floor of the U.S. Senate. Somebody who understands how to keep America safe because they've done it before. We also need somebody who's more focused on results than resistance. Someone who's more focused on getting opportunity back to the state than opposition. We need to have somebody running for the U.S. Senate because our workers deserve better. 
From my business, I know firsthand the shortage of skilled labor that we have on our farms and factories across the state of Michigan. I will fight for education reform that puts emphasis on vocational training and technical schools that prepare working folks for good paying jobs here in Michigan. We will make Michigan once again the home of talent and capital investment. We're going to continue to grow and raise our economy. Our farmers deserve better. But to listen here, because this is where Senator Stabenow has started her storytelling's lies and double talk. She says that she protects our farmers, but when you take a look at what she's done with Waters of the U.S., you take a look at what she's done with the death tax, you take a look at what she's done with failing to lead on the RAINS Act, you look at what she's done with our farmers being crushed by unfair trade deals, and our president is the first one to step up and say no more. We will operate on a level playing field. We will have reciprocal trade deals. We will stand up for our farmers and factory workers. I will work with anyone and everyone to make sure that our farmers are being looked at and taken care of. This. You hear that? Those are the waves of the red wave coming. That's the sound of the red wave coming. Our farmers are being crushed by oppressive regulation that Debbie Stabenow allowed to happen in this federal government. Our farmers feed the world and Debbie Stabenow feeds them double talk and lip service. Our farmers are hanging by red tape. We need to have someone who will not accept mediocrity from our federal government and who will get results. Our families deserve better. Our roads and our bridges and other critical infrastructure are crumbling across America. And Debbie Stabenow has watched it happen. Over 43 years, she has watched it happen. I will fight for comprehensive immigration. Immigration reform, yes, and infrastructure reform. We need to make sure that we do the right thing the right way. We improve safety and help Michigan compete economically. I will lead from the front for our families. Our veterans deserve better. I'm going to take my time on this one because it's very, very important. We've been at war for over a decade and a half, the longest war in our nation's history. We still have not welcomed our Vietnam vets properly back home from war after 50 years ago. For our veterans in the room, thank you for your service. I love you, and as a brother in arms, I will do everything I can to protect you. There are 600, there are 670,000 of us who are not getting the benefits that we've earned through our service. Now all of the sudden, now all of the sudden after 43 years as a career politician and 20 years as a Washington creature, Senator Stabenow, Senator Stabenow just now decides that she wants to stand up for our veterans. All of a sudden, I'm telling you, don't believe the hype. This is a disgrace using our veterans and our service members as political pawns to get reelected. I will work to get our veterans access to quality care and access to the health care they deserve because we don't ask for much, but we are willing to put our lives on the line. But I'll tell you, if you break us, you bought us. We need to have someone on the floor of the U.S. Senate who understands that.
Our children deserve better. Too many children in both rural and urban communities are trapped in failing schools. Senator Stabenow in the year 2000 said we will fix our schools and, uh, it, by 2010. It's 2018 and our schools are still a disgrace. We need to make sure that we get results and not just stand behind Chuck Schumer. I will work with anyone willing to bring real education reform into urban and rural areas all across this state. I hate politics, but I love this country. And if I'm going to be honest right now, because I don't play these political games, I'm going to be honest. Both parties have neglected our neighborhoods. Both parties have forgotten our farms. Both parties could do more. But I'll tell you what. The Democrat establishment has dismissed rural whites as disposable and urban blacks as disposable, and that is unacceptable. I will work with anyone to start rebuilding our vital infrastructure, increase public safety to help people in inner cities grow successful businesses and families in inner cities live the American dream. Our conservative message of hope and opportunity will find support in our inner cities. Our workers deserve someone who will stand up for them. I run a global logistics company that competes with and beats foreign competition. I will stand with our president who is standing up for our national interest in Washington and I will take on bad trade deals and help this administration fight for the workers. It's time for a change. It's time for them to go. Leave mediocrity in the past and don't accept the status quo. We have a chance to defeat Debbie Stabenow and tell her that 43 years is enough. I'm John James, I'm a job creator, I'm a combat veteran, I'm a Republican, I'm a servant, and I wanna be your next senator. Thank you, God bless you, let's fly.